One of the region's most popular broadcasters, Ed Doolan, has died at the age of 76. He'd been living with dementia. For more than 40 years, he was a familiar voice on local radio in Birmingham and the Black Country. But he was perhaps best known as a consumer champion on BBC WM. He was awarded an MBE for his work in 1999. Ben Sidwell looks back at his life. G'day, Joe. And how you go? G'day, Joe. You g'day, g'day, g'day. A very good day to you. Ed Doolan was a broadcasting legend, and radio was his life. It's midday. Welcome to lunch with Ed Doolan. Born in Sydney, Australia in 1941, Ed's love of radio began at a very early age. A typical evening in the Doolan household was to sit down and watch my mother doing the ironing and listen to the transcription service, the BBC transcription service, that they were sending through. But Ed's career really took off when he moved to Birmingham. In 1974, he helped launch commercial station BRMB before joining the BBC in 1982, where he would go on to broadcast more than 9,000 shows. It was really sad news to hear that Ed has gone. Obviously, he hasn't been in good health for many years, but he was a broadcasting legend and he was a broadcasting innovator. He was a broadcasting genius. Tonight, this show is all about a man that's been part of our lives in the West Midlands for close to 45 years, Ed Doolan. Throughout the day on BBC WM, Ed's colleagues and the listeners who loved him so much have been paying tribute. It seems as if you've lost a member of your own family. It's just such a sad loss. I mean, I wouldn't have had a roof over my head if it hadn't been for Ed. Ed became famous for fighting for people's rights. He was a consumer champion of the airwaves. People working for Birmingham Council who are frightened that if they say what is going on, they will be sacked. That's exactly what I'm saying. He also interviewed some of the most influential people in the world. Welcome to Lunch with Doolan. We start with the Prime Minister. In fact, it seemed like everyone was willing to talk to Ed. Here, a prisoner who absconded from Stafford Jail gave himself up today while taking part in a radio phone-in. Well, Stephen, will you accept that if I meet you privately... I drive you back to the prison. Will you accept that? Yeah. And true to his word, Ed met the man and helped him hand himself in. He was an absolute professional. But as I say, I'd, I'd like to say that he was also a kind of good human being and um, knew what he was about uh, and wanted to make a difference, and he certainly did. I'm Ed Doolan. Thanks for your company. Thanks for listening. Well, we heard some of the tributes there, and there have been many more pouring in on social media throughout the day. Andrew Brazier from Redditch tweeted, Midlands radio broadcaster, consumer champion, loved by millions. The West Midlands mayor, Andy Street, says, Ed was one of my heroes, the voice of Birmingham in the 1970s and 80s, another genuine legend that we have lost. Amy Conway from Birmingham wrote, Such a sad day to hear the passing of at Ed Doolan. Truly a wonderful man. I feel blessed to have met him. And Ed Doolan's influence felt, was felt far beyond the West Midlands. In fact, the former Downing Street Press Secretary, Alistair Campbell, tweeted, Very sorry to hear the death of Ed Doolan. An Aussie who came to love the Midlands. A terrific interviewer for BBC WM. Firm but fair and loved his community. And our thoughts are very much with his family today.